Rolling. Container started when Juan approached me with the story of what happened in 2019 when 39 Vietnamese nationals were traveling to the UK via container and then unfortunately they all passed away. So what we wanted to do for our short was focus on the different types of people who made this journey and why people would make such a sacrifice. It means a lot to me to you know, share stories as to why people make these sacrifices to get to Western countries and each person has their own unique story. I was ready to take it on and I feel like him and I could really make something of it that was meaningful. With the lens we're using, it's going to be so blurred out in the back. So what side works better for you? Uh, probably this one, so we don't get the brown leather. thing about prepping this movie was really the fact that it was set in one location. We had agreed right off the bat that most of the film would take place in the container. We were limited as to where we could put the camera and where we could place lights and everything and that's when Quan approached me with Previs Pro. In my previous projects I would always take my Artemis app, go to a location scout and frame up have you know the first 80 or someone stand in the frame and take a picture and that's kind of my storyboarding process but for this movie I, I knew that there was no location scout it's really up to us to build the location how it looks and what the shots are like yeah that's okay uh, reset I've seen storyboards and I've always wanted one on my set for my film but I was never able to achieve it until previous pro I've made shot lists before. Previs just does something way better than that. You can see it on your iPad or you can see exactly what you're going for. I was always huge in building lighting diagrams, so having something like Previs where there were both the 2D view, 3D view, and also the framing option was big for me. in the actual events that happened. The container, I'm pretty sure, was empty. So I knew I wanted a certain light fixture in there. In terms of what's in the container, I just really thought of brown cardboard boxes, and that's really what was in the storyboards. So I gave that to Jordan, the production designer, and he just really took it to the next level. Him and my gaffer, Nate, they just went above and beyond and built a whole fixed ceiling for me. You'll see that in the opening shot. Had that not happened in art, we wouldn't have had our opening shot. So I was just really excited and amazed at how the set turned out. A semi blocking the sidewalk is okay. We're all scheduled around this. Thanks, Previs. I'm just a, a professional set decorator and I love Previs. I like wrap it around even more. I think we'll so? see. I don't know if we need it. It would be awesome if this short leads to a feature down the road, not just to make a movie, but also to tell the story. There hasn't been any movie that touched base on how the modern immigrants come to the Western side of the world. And I really think that a story like this would be amazing to be told on the, the big screen. I just want people to realize that they're doing this because they feel like they have to and because they need to do it to support their family from wherever they came from. And that's what I wanted to achieve with this film, is to show the humanity of the people.